Hey everyone, I'm Abby. And I'm Kyle. Hey Abby, do you know what your name means? Uh, no. Why? Well, I was just talking to my friend Elijah, and he was telling me that his name means, the Lord is my God. And I thought that was kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Right? So I decided to look up what your name means. Did you know that Abby means someone who gives joy? I think that's pretty cool too. Hey, that is pretty neat. Actually, that reminds me of our superhero for today. His name was Nahum, but that name means comfort, and God used him to speak to some people who needed to be comforted. Why don't we sing, and then we can learn more about this name? I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way. God's love changed me more than I can say. Can't keep this in, gotta let it. Good morning, everybody. It's so nice to see you again. I'm Miss Dana, and I'm going to be doing the next four Bible lessons. So I'm really excited to be joining you again. Um, before we get started with the prayer, I thought I would actually re quickly read a devotion from this book. And this book is called I Am, and it uh, gives all kinds of wonderful different meanings and names for God. And so the big theme of the lesson today is comfort. And so I thought I would read you a devotion that um, has the theme that God is a refuge for us and he gives us comfort when we need it. So the devotion is called Be Comforted. And the verse says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Losing someone or someone important to you never feels good. Whether we've lost a pet or didn't get the place we wanted in a race, or if we moved far away from a best friend, losing hurts. A lady in the Bible named Ruth and her mother-in-law, Naomi, came to Bethlehem feeling hurt and sad. You can read their whole story in the book of Ruth. Naomi's husband and sons had died. Ruth had been married to one of Naomi's sons, so now she was alone too. But together Ruth and Naomi trusted God, and he comforted them by taking care of them every day and giving them a happy new life. That's not all. After Ruth met and married a kind man named Boaz, they had a baby, Obed. He grew up 
to be the grandfather of Israel's King David, and many years later, Jesus was born from David's family. So Ruth, who was a foreigner who had lost everything, became an ancestor of Jesus, the Son of God, who gives us everything and came to save and comfort us. What a story. God cares about us. He cares about you. He watches over our lives and comforts us in our troubles. He might send a friend to give you a hug. He might put a beautiful sunset in the sky to remind you you're not alone. He can even turn your troubles or anything you've lost into something good, as he did for Ruth and Naomi. Romans 8.28 says, We know that in everything God works for the good of those who love him. So if you feel hurt or sad today, keep your eyes open for how God will comfort you. You might just be surprised. Um, let's say a quick prayer before we start the rest of the lesson. Dear God, thank you for knowing us so well and comforting us when we're hurt or sad. We love you so much and thank you for your presence in our lives. Please bless this Bible lesson today and uh, please take care of us throughout the next week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so this is a very good devotion book if you're ever interested in reading more about the names of God. So today we're actually going to be focusing on a book in the Old Testament called Nahum. Um, as you know from our Books of the Bible song, uh, Nahum is in the Old Testament. So today we are going to go over that. Um, but how about first we sing our Books of the Bible? The Old Testament. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st Kings, 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and the last book, Malachi. And the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts and the letter to the Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st and 2nd and 3rd John, Jude and Revelation. Okay, great job. So, last week you talked about Daniel, and that is such a cool story. Um, it's one that a lot of us already knew, and so it was really nice to see Miss um, Robin get to share that with us. Uh, today, I want to ask you to think back in what you know from Bible stories, and I want to ask you if you remember Jonah. Jonah was swallowed by a big fish when he ran away from God because he didn't want to go to a city called Nineveh and tell the people there to change their actions to be more godly or else the earth would be destroyed. Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. Do you remember in that story if the people of Nineveh actually changed or not? Well, they did. When Jonah finally did what God told him to, the people listened to Jonah and they changed. The city did not get destroyed and the people were on a new path to following God. However, sometime later, I think about a hundred years, the people in the city of Nineveh went back to their old bad ways. They were being very sinful and had very bad behavior once again, like they'd forgotten all about God. Now, sometimes we can be like that. Sometimes we think, oh, I'm going to be so good. And then we forget, we lose self-control maybe, and we make some mistakes. We all do that from time to time. When you play a game like hockey or dodgeball or even a board game like Monopoly, there are rules we have to follow. There are boundaries that we're not allowed to cross. We're not allowed to cheat. We're not allowed to, in hockey, pick up the puck and throw it at the net. There's rules, right? 
God gives us rules for our life too, and he doesn't want us to break those rules. Can we think of some of the rules that God has given us? Well, in the Old Testament, he gives us the Ten Commandments. Some of those commandments are things like, don't worship anyone but God, don't steal, honor your father and mother, and he wants us to love each other too. If we follow these rules as best we can for our whole life, do you think he's gonna take care of us? Of course, God takes care of everyone who loves him. And that's part of feeling that God is our comfort. Now, in the book of Nahum, when Nineveh was being bad again, there was a mean and powerful king who ruled over God's people and kept them from worshiping him. So he sent a prophet. A prophet is someone who's, who uh, delivers messages from God to people. And the prophet was named Nahum. And Nahum went to let these people know that God was going to destroy their city, just like Jonah had years and years ago. Now, this made God's people happy to know that God was going to punish the people who were breaking the rules and the ones who were like the evil king who was ruling over them and being very mean to them. Now, Nahum's me name means comfort too. So his message, his prophecy that uh, he shared with the people meant that God's people can take comfort and refuge in the Lord. They could now take comfort in knowing that they were going to be saved from the evil king who was ruling over them. And so this is another good reminder, just like the story with Ruth and Naomi, that God does take care of us. Um, and when if we are close to him and we um, pray to him and follow his rules and commandments for our lives, we're going to have an amazing life and we're going to have one that's full of comfort from, and peace from God. Uh, so I wanted to read one special verse, which is our memory verse as well. Um, I'll put it up on the screen here. So our superhero today was Nahum, and his special power was comfort, like God's power. And you could read the book of Nahum to find the story. And the verse is, The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Nahum chapter 1, verse 7. And that will be your memory verse for this week. Hope you have an amazing week. Enjoy the nicer weather, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.